be to the point, don't arrive late and look neat. These are only a couple of elements of the perfect pitch. I will talk about how you can present yourself best in front of an investor with Gertjan Tienkamp, account manager of the crowdfunding platform Geld voor Elkaar, Roy Spit, director of credits, and Claudio Gerardi, owner of Vizzeria. Claudio. Hi, hello. Hello. <laughs> how did you, your presentation go? Did it go well? For me, it was uh, easy to get a, a line to follow. So what I have to put is the effort to find the right info. And how did it go for yourself? How, were you relaxed or stressed? No, I was a bit stressed. Oh, okay. A bit stressed, but uh, at the end, I was sure that uh, the idea got a good value. Value, sorry. Okay, so that relaxed you a little bit. Yeah, that was my calm point. Yeah, and how did you prepare exactly? Uh, I r wrote down a business plan, which mm -hmm. was not that big, just three pages. I put into the business plan uh, some numbers about uh, a provision. Mm -hmm. uh, I also included some picture of the bike because on the time people uh, couldn't ever imagine how pizza bike look like. Mm -hmm. And then also I add uh, something about my private life. What oh. was my income on the moment, which, which job I was doing on the time and yeah. So that was very complete. And um, what important tips did you receive from the Netherlands Chamber of Commerce and Credits? I received a lot of important tips uh, mm -hmm. from these two entities. Uh, the first one and the most important was uh, a right form of business plan. Uh, from the Chamber of Commerce I received a marketing research, mm. which was a specific one for my field. And uh, uh, moreover, I, um, I receive tips on how to deposit my trademark because it was my uh, biggest problem, ah. how to protect my idea ah, okay. as a, such a new idea. Mm. Uh, that helps me a lot. So they uh, direct me to the, another uh, association, which is, which is the BOIP. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they helped me also uh, on how to edit the trademark deposit. Okay. And did you also get tips like um, if you had to be a BV or not? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, this was another important question on the time mm -hmm. because I was working as a CZ payer mm -hmm. and I asked if for the pizzeria I should make a BFA. But uh, luckily, they suggest me to continue on that on that way, and then if they, uh, the pizzeria will get a uh, value, then you can transform it in a baby. Ah, good. Yeah. yeah. And Roy, what does a good presentation consist of? Well, um, uh, l let's say we, we visit all our, or most of our uh, applicants, we visit them uh, when it's an existing business, we visit them at their business. Mm -hmm. And when they are a startup, we visit them at their home. So it's very impor important for us to, to visit the applicant in their own environment. Mm, yeah. um, what we see, and I wouldn't recommend, is to open the door in your sleeping house. <laughs> so do people actually do that? <laughs> people do that. Oh. <laughs> so uh, clean up the house, uh, and make a cup of tea or coffee, <laughs> and add pictures like Claudio did, and, and let us feel that you really want to do that. And that, not that you're on social benefit and say, okay, well, uh, oh, there's nothing yeah. else I could do, so uh, let's start up a business. We have to feel that you fit the business yeah. that you want to, want to have. So uh, th that's actually the main advice I can give. Okay. Be yourself. That's a good tip, yeah. yeah. And do you have anything to add to that? Uh, well, at crowdfunding, uh, the presentation is online and you pre present to investors. So an investor decides like in five minutes if they're going to invest or not. Mm -hmm. So the story has to be very clear and very simple. If you have a very uh, difficult or complex product, then make a video and mm -hmm. add some pictures. And in that way, an investor can easily and quickly decide whether they want to invest or not. Mm. And is it also about the likability of the entrepreneur? Yeah, it's very much about the likability. Um, it's uh, investors at crowdfunding um, 
uh, are about uh, profit and are about uh, uh, the uh, returns on their investments, mm -hmm. but also is it a nice entrepreneur? What's the background? What's the motivation behind it? And eventually, do I have a good feeling mm. with the guy I'm going to invest in? Yeah, or yeah, yeah. Girl. And even if you, you get goodies as well, right? When you. Yeah, well, we do uh, advise to use incentives mm -hmm. like a discount or a part of the product uh, you're willing to offer to your investor. Netherlands Chamber of Commerce has also lined up some practical tips for pitching. Personalize your presentation. Every investor is different. Explain why you want to start your business. What's your passion? Stick to the essence of your story. Practice your pitch with friends or acquaintances and or in front of the mirror. Keep it short and simple. So Gert-Jan, in what way does a digital presentation differ from a presentation in person? Well, a digital presentation, you can't discuss or get a reply to your investors. Mm -hmm. So the story has to be very clear, very simple, like you just said, but uh, also must not raise any questions. What makes your bike unique? My, uh, what makes my bike unique? Uh, my bike is unique because it's the biggest bike mm. on, on the market. Okay. Uh, biggest pizza bike ah. on the market, yeah. You, you can find bike uh, capable to bake 200 pizza only getting your bike, cycling around, stop on the spot, pop up your stru uh, structure, and then you can bake 200 pizzas. And the structure is a tent as well? Uh, yeah, it's a handcraft tent. Ah. All the system is, I have built it on my own. Wow! The only help uh, I got for build up the structure was from a welder and from my father. Very good. Well, that yeah. sounds unique. Roy, when entrepreneurs present their plans at credits, which is most important? Is it um, the numbers, the story, or the entrepreneurs themselves? Okay, well, when we had the plan and we, we read the plan, we really want to know who's the entrepreneur, mm -hmm. who's the man or woman behind the plan. So the entrepreneur comes first. We get curious because we want to know who is the man who had a plan for a pizza mm -hmm. bike, a pizzeria. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's the most important thing. So the story, and, and to know the story, we have to meet Claudio or we make a video call. And that's also very common to, to speak people on a WhatsApp. Yeah. Um, and then the numbers. So, uh, but you, you talk about the numbers, you talk about the financial plan. And I re really would recommend to also to, to put some effort in the financial plan. Because we see a lot of people telling a lot, lot about the story. But they don't have the skills to write a financial plan. And how do you actually find out who you can work with or not, gert -Jan? Well, a good entrepreneur knows what he's talking about. Mm. He knows his market, he knows his branch, he knows his bike, he knows everything. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it really comes with passion mm. and uh, a convincement in their story and their business plan. And what if you're not so good at pitching? What then? <laughs> Well, at Geld voor Elkaar, we uh, help the entrepreneur to get a good pitch for the investors. Mm -hmm. So, um, videos, uh, pictures, and a really nice presentation. But um, I think it's not a very difficult way to get some help if you're not uh, really that uh, good about in it. Do you agree? Yeah, it's not the main main thing. You know, what we want to do is want to know is that we meet Claudio in his own environment. If he's a good pizza baker and if he has the right skills like hospitality mm -hmm. to sell them, and pitching is, you know, f I think for crowdfunding it's more important than mm -hmm. for us. But I think you also help people with writing a pitch, so yeah. that's not a problem. And let's be honest, for a bricklayer, it's not the most <laughs> important thing to have a good pitch. Yeah. But if you are a consultant, we really look at how you pitch yourself. But, but that's another, another thing. Yeah. I think just a small part of the market, it's very important to have a good pitch. And you give tips for that as well. Exactly, yeah. So do you want to know from entrepreneurs who want to start a business in the Netherlands why they actually want to do it here? Yes, we will always ask them. 
Mm. We want to know why they're here. Do they have relatives or family over here? What's the reason they come over here? Because we also want to know what's the risk that they go back with a loan. So we ask these questions and we want to have straight answer on that. Mm. Yeah. And did you practice your presentation, Claudio? And how did you do it? Uh, yeah, I practiced my presentation, but only on the number uh, side of my business plan, because for the rest was quite natural for me, mm. because I built up from the first screw my yeah. bike. And yeah, I mean, the, I'm a pizza lover and with pizza is yeah. something <laughs> in my blood. We so, can say like that, yeah, pizza is. So that part wasn't difficult for you? No. <laughs> and what would you have done if you hadn't succeeded? Did you have a plan B or a plan C even? Yes, my plan B was just to come back on my old job, mm -hmm. start to doing pizza again and pay back uh, my debts. That was uh, my B plan. That sounds like a good plan B, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. Well, thank you so much for being here, gentlemen, and sharing your expertise and experiences. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. We have come to the end of this webinar. Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit business.gov.nl.